John here guys, and today we're talking about goggles. Now goggles in FPV is one of the most important things you'll ever have to select. What most people don't realize is that the goggles we wear while we're flying are quadcopters, drones, tiny loops, and other wings in them is the most expensive same component. It's more expensive than any drone you're ever going to buy, and it's more expensive than your transmitter or remote. So, how do you know what to make? There's so many brands, so many prices, so many different levels. Can I go with the cheapest? Should I go all the way to the top? Well, I'm gonna break it down for you in five easy levels. That's right, five levels five. So that you'll know no matter what your price point is, no matter if you're ready to get in for the first time, move up to the next level or go all the way to the top, what each of those levels is. So let's start with level number one. That is all about the Ishin VR007 Pro, the 007. This comes in about $40 to $45, and it is an immense value. It is a box-style goggle, as you can see. Now, this is a lot more than and I suppose that you do spend $5 or $6 bucks on getting the end, too. You get much better reception that way. Now, this is a pretty simple affair. It's a fairly small screen. I believe this is 4 inches, and... Uh, but one thing that is nice is that the battery that it comes with can charge via USB, so you don't need any separate hobby grade chargers. And we all know that when we're starting out, we only have the simplest of chargers. So keep that in mind, this can charge with a USB. Battery lasts a fairly good amount of time. Now it does not have DVR, and it is only single receiver. That's level one, 40 to $50, period. Now I also recommend do not spend anything outside of these levels. So just pay attention to them carefully. Level number two. How many guns? Is the Ishin EV800Ds. Now, this is an upgrade from the 007 Pro, but it is still a box goggle. But this has the added feature of diversity and a built in DVR. You're going to spend $80 to $90 on level two. Do not spend any more. These are a great upgrade because you can also break the screen away from the goggle, use it as a monitor if you want, hand it to people once you get other goggles. The great thing about levels one and two is they are upgradable with you. You can either sell them, you can keep them for ride-alongs, or keep them as a backup if anything happens to your main goggle after their, anytime after that. So level three, that is when you get to the fun times, guys. Level three is a supreme value. That is the Amway Commander Generation One comes with this really cool hard shell carrying case that you can easily throw into your bag. And the always represent a supreme amount of value. Now level three comes at the price point of $200 up to about $240. Now don't spend outside of the levels guys. Remember what I'm telling you. This has dual diversity antennas. It is a fat shark style goggle. So when you put it on, you'll be able to be totally immersed. Now, one thing you'll notice when you move to this level of goggles, the field of view is actually a little bit smaller. But you're gonna have better clarity, and you're gonna be able to take in the full image better with these type of goggles. This has a built-in SD card slot for your DVR functionality, which is built-in. I will note that this has the same type of DVR module contained in all Fat Sharks, so you'll be recording the same type of footage. And the receivers in here are built-in, so you don't need to add an external module at all so the price here is total 200 to 240 dollars on the used market now the other thing that you're going to want to consider is it doesn't come with very good antennas so you don't want to upgrade those but any standard omni and patch combo will do you great i started out with these per uav futures recommendation and i raced with them for an entire year before i got my first fast tracks and they performed beautifully the other nice thing is it comes with a special power plug with a regular that allows you to use any 2 to 4 S LiPo. So you can use any old LiPo in your bag to power these without having to worry about charging any fast charge style batteries. Very cool. Very low price. Now, for a companion to this, if you don't want to go with the Omways, the Fast Shark Dominator V3s are also on level 3. But stay within that budget. $200 to $240. Don't spend more. That's the budget. Now that one's gonna be a little bit harder to find. Now when I say $200 to $240 for the Fat Shark Dominator V3 on level three, 
I mean with a module, with a true D module. So that's why it's going to make it a little tricky for you to find, but if you can find one, it's okay. I don't recommend one over the other. I think those two, compared to you know the, v, the Dominator V3, is equivalent to the Omni Commander. Now let's go up to level four. Level four is what I consider to be the greatest value in the hobby, and that is the Fat Shark HD3. The Fat Shark HD3 was the flagship model for Fat Shark for a very long time. Now, level four price point is $300 to $350. Now, that is with the module. Now, it's most likely going to be the Trudy, but the Forge will be acceptable too. This has all the great features of the Dominator V3 external module bay. I recommend for budget sake to run the True D module. Don't need any power mods like you need with the rapid fire. You can always upgrade that later if you really want to. Those have great functionality, great clarity. And for that price point, you're gonna be getting a world of beautiful picture. Now, the other goggle that's on level four is the Fast Track HD2. Now surprisingly, this goggle may actually be more expensive because the HD2 has the 50 degree field of view, super huge. While the Dom V3 and the Omni Commander have about 30 to 32 degrees, the HD3 has 43 degrees. So the HD2 is the biggest screen. It's gonna be more expensive a lot of times because people want that giant field of view. But keep note, the HD2s don't work with everybody's eye spacing. If you don't have the perfect eye spacing for this, your edges are going to be blurry. So if you want the safe bag, go with the HD3. They're easier to find for cheap. Now, that leaves us with one level up. Left the top, the cream of the crop, the absolute supreme image. If you were an early adopter of tech, if you were the first one you knew that had a 4K television, if you want the crispest, the cleanest, the most color accurate, beautiful rendering of images in your eyeballs as you're flying around FPV, there is no substitution for the HDOs with rapid fire combination. Now this is level five, this is the top, so nothing cheap about this. This combination will set you back, mind you, without antennas, this whole conversation is without antennas, $650 quite expensive. Add antennas to that and you're right up about 700 bucks, which is double the price of the HD3. Now, is the HDO double as good? Is it twice as good? And the answer is no, it's not. It's maybe 25, 30%, arguably maybe 50% better, but it's definitely not two times better. It's an incremental upgrade. The image is clear, but your field of view is smaller. This is probably awesome. seven in my opinion, the HD3 has the perfect field of view, but this has the best, the most incredible image. And this rapid fire module will get you the clearest picture possible. Once you put this combination on your face, oh my gosh, guys, oh my gosh, the clarity is insane. But keep in mind, this is for people that have to have the best and are willing to have it no matter the cost. So if you're a budget conscious, the best value is gonna be the HD3. The best place to introduce yourself to this type of goggle is the Amway Commander. And when you're ready to go all in, when you've decided FPV is for you and you wanna upgrade all your equipment, the HDO with rapid fire combination is the way to go. Now, what? how much better is it? Clarity wise, clarity wise, if you're racing, if you're flying by yourself, if you're flying in an open field, if you're flying in a park, the HDO with rapid fire versus an HD3 with a true D is not going to have that much difference. Those are clear conditions and any module will perform great under the most ideal conditions. Where this starts to come into play is when you're flying with multiple other people in a crowded area with a lot of multi-pathing, metal structures, if you're building diving, if you're tiny group racing indoors or doing any other type of flying indoors, that's where this is going to shine. But if you're in an open field scenario, like we often do for racing or for light freestyle where you're not flying in industrial parks, then the HD3 with the True D is the maximum value. So 
Those are the five levels, guys. Stay away from the middle zones. Don't go in there and buy a Nation Goggles 2 for $120. Stay within the levels. They will guide you to the proper points for you to purchase goggles. Hopefully this helps. Hopefully this sheds some clarity on a confusing subject that everybody seems to get lost over. And hopefully this gets you to the most beautiful image that you've ever seen. So thanks guys.